Hey there guys, I'm Manacle. Welcome back to my salty playthrough of Darkest Dungeon. Last time we did well, but not well enough. I think this time I'll try to go for one of the bosses. I think one of the easiest bosses early is the Swine Prince. Even though he's a high damage dealer, he's quite predictable and quite easy to just nuke down as fast as possible. So I think I'm gonna go for him. But before we do that, I'm gonna do some managing, my base managing if you will, if you want to call it like that. First of my leper has some very unfun quakes on him, so I'll get rid of this. Weak grip, minus 3% uh, melee crit, that's bad and I don't want that to be locked in, so I will get rid of that. Additionally, some of my characters are sick. Bulimic, that's not really a problem. Scurvy, it's not really that big of a problem. Mm, but what else is a problem, huh? What would be a problem here? Let's see. Um, nah. I think that's it. Really, I got some guys sick, but that doesn't really matter that much. I think so. Probably leave them. Well, no, you, you, okay, you need to go. If this is this one, yeah. You need to go and get rid of those sicknesses because that's ridiculous. The syphilis and the fits at once. Holy fuck, that's terrible. Uh, yeah, this 750. I'm spending some cash on, on it, but who cares, I guess. Okay, let's set up a party for the Swine Prince. Now, I definitely want a Plague Doctor. I definitely want a Hellion also. Yes, I do. Hellion, please. And I want what? Hmm. Mm. I kind of wanted really to get a... Um, Arbalist, but I think that's not gonna happen. The Arbalist, one of the Arbalist ability, uh, the Flare, is good because it clears mark targets, and mark targets are basically um, the main mechanic with the Swine Prince. There are basically the Swine Prince is the Swine King or whatever is basically two enemies, the Swine Prince and Wilbert or Wilbur or whatever. And Wilbur marks any, marks your teammates for the Swine Prince. The Swine Prince only deals real damage to marked enemies, and Wilbur basically every turn marks either one character or marks two characters, and then the Swine Prince deals damage to one or two characters. And that's the main problem you will have. If you have some way of getting rid of, of marked, that's actually quite, quite good, but sadly I don't have anything like that, so... Uh, it's probably gonna be a problem. Okay, healer, I will take you, I guess, in that case. Uh, we took Romanov, I hope he will not die, because that would suck balls. And now let's see... Mm. Well, this would be nice if I had my healer in the front row, which I won't. I need someone to. I need someone to either mark or deal a lot of damage. Uh, well, the Hellion will be doing a lot of damage, I guess. And I could just take the. Um, I could just take the man at arms and mark myself or guard teammates. I think that's actually a good idea. I think that's actually a good idea. Because I could do the same with this guy, with my Crusader, but his damage is a bit weaker, I think. One sec. Uh, okay. Um, guard ally and 25% protection buff. And it's a guard, or 
25% protection buff and mark yourself. And a self heal. Actually, you know what? Maybe this is better. Although he can only attack the first two enemies. But yeah, you know what? Let's let's take uh, Reynald. Uh, Stunrise Stunset? Oh, because all of them have stuns. How cute. Stunrise Sunset. That's, that's a fun party composition name. But first, we need to go and see if we can get some more skills, maybe. I cannot get any other skills, but I can get this. That's what I want. And I can get... Okay, I don't need anything here. Healer. On you, I want Judgment. Okay. And Romanov. You, my friend... Well, you basically have everything that I wanted, really. So that's okay. In terms of... This, though. Let's see. Um... Damage reduction, stress reduction, stress reduction, stress reduction. Uh, you know what? I think I'll actually take him. I, I think I'll actually take the man at arms because the man of, at arms has better pa better camp buffs. Plus ten percent damage, plus five percent crit chance for all party members. Yeah, you can have four party, uh, four skills active at a time, so. Self only. He's got a lot of self buffs, though. He's got a lot of self buffs. All companions, one companion, self only, self only. That's a lot of self buffs. Okay, and you have. This is a stress reduction. Right? Yes, this is a stress reduction. This is a self only crit increase. Okay. If not in position one, so you have to be. She has to be in the first position, huh? Huh. Okay. Cool, I guess. And healer needs. Not this, I guess. And you need what? Um, this is a heal. This is a heal. Okay, that's it. I cannot, I cannot really um, do anything with them. I really would like to just level them up a bit and upgrade their, skin, their stuff a bit, but I can't. I don't know if I'm not going too early for this, but hopefully I am not. But first, I need to switch this guy yeah they could say that I'm, I'm gonna switch you with with this guy he's bleed he has low bleed resistant low movement resistant though maybe you will be better uh well adventurer well th those are warrens so warrens okay he's got warrens uh scanjurer so i'm gonna take him most likely natural swing accuracy bonus but yeah, this one is gonna be better. Uh, I'll take this. I'll keep this. And then do you want the stun? I think. Or maybe actually. Yeah, let's keep the stun. Uh, you. Okay, let's prepare. You will keep this. Keep this. Yeah, you're gonna keep all of that. I think. Yes. You will keep all of these abilities, really. Although I could. Nah, I, I want all of these. Yeah, I want the first blight, 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 and a heal that cures bleed and blight. Incision is not really good. And healer, uh, healer wants this. No, not the melee attack. Uh uh, game. Uh uh. Okay. Oh. Okay. That's it? Yeah. We're gonna get a uh, reward for a leper, by the way. Uh, we're gonna get a nice, rare, very rare mask for the leper. So that's gonna be fun. If we'll be able to manage this, of course. So I will take a lot of food. 
you can see that I'm taking all the possible food. I will not fuck around with this. The game sometimes can be very unfair with how much you get. So I will not play around with this. I'm also taking uh, 16 torches just for the same reason basically. I'm, I'm not testing, you know, my luck at all because I know how unlucky I sometimes get in this game. So I'm, I'm not testing, testing my luck. I'm going to try to get the best possible outcome. If it fails, it fails, but at least I'll try as much as possible. It would be nice to level up at least like their inventory a bit, like slightly even, slightly, even one level up would be nice. But I think we should be able to do this if I buff up properly and everything works the way, the way I hope it will work. So let's take more bandages, maybe not like three bandages. This is a boss fight. The ways and rituals of blood sacrifice are difficult to master. Those from beyond require a physical vessel if they are to make the crossing into our reality. The timing of the chance is imperative. Without the proper utterances at precise intervals, the process can fail spectacularly. And the process did fail spectacularly. I love the fact that when you start a boss fight, you get this uh, dialogue about the creation of that boss or uh, about the origins of that boss. A nameless abomination. A testament to my failures. It must be destroyed. And the narrator, your ancestor, um, basically gives you, you know, gives you that, that dialogue about who or what. Oh, come on. I got surprised at the very start, just like that. Uh, fuck you, game. The rune runs. First fight. First moment. First anything. God. Okay, I'll try to stun you. Good crit. Quakes. Okay, he's stunned. He's got. He was stunned. I'm sorry. He. Why? Why, why did I want to say he got stunned? He got stunned. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is a stun fest party, really. That that is true. Oh come on! Don't go fast. You fucker. You fucker. Four nine. You know what? Let's, let's finish him off. I, I just want to finish the fucker off. Offensive. Uh, it's done. Oh come on! Ten percent. You had ten percent chance to resist. Motherfucker. Okay, let's blight them now, I guess. Oh, come on! Two fucking dodges in a row! Like one, yeah, but two... He of course starts first, they start first, I'm sorry, so my stress will increase, yeah, go first again, and crit for you motherfucking whore of a fucking game. And he resisted. The slow death. Great start game, great start. And I heal for 3. I heal for 3, he hits for 11. Continually onslaught. Destroy them all. Stun him, please. Thank you. Now allow me to heal myself. Thank you. Again for three. I can heal from three to five, and I heal twice in a row for three. That, this is a bad start. I'm getting already salty. Fuck you, game. First you surprise me at full light, and then I miss everything. They crit. <sighs> Just fuck off. 
would be nice to get a map, actually. Go if you go first. Blow to body and brain. I really want to just finish off this guy because he's the biggest motherfucker out there. Weird you didn't fucking crit me. Okay, good. He's dead, very good. This guy is gonna be dead next turn also, so that's excellent. And now you have stun resist, so... No real point in trying to stun, stun you. What I can do though is uh, try to heal up a few, few of you guys. Because you bleed me. Because why wouldn't you? Okay, he's dead. Okay, the good. That cuts on its own. And of course, you had to kill him with that one attack because you couldn't allow me to heal you with the healer on that turn. I really think they should just allow you to finish up your turn after you kill all enemies. It doesn't make any sense for you not to be able to finish up the turn. After uh, after killing enemies, you should be able to just normally finish the turn, use up all the remaining abilities, use up all the heals, and continue from there. The match is it would not break game balance in any way, born. and it would be very very good for for the players. The light, very helpful. The promise of safety. Okay, we're gonna get some food here. And this is not a bad enemy setup, so hopefully we're not gonna die. The only problem here that is I took a Plague Doctor and the Blight is not as effective here because the enemies here are more, you know, resistant to Blight and Bleed. You can see 40% Blight resist, only 10% Bleed resist. But I really needed the Blight for um, the Swine Prince. The Swine Prince, if, I, if they didn't, if they changed something, I would be very mad, but from what I remember, the Swine Prince was not resistant to Blight. He was not. He didn't have resistance to anything, uh, to be completely honest. He was basically very, very weak in that regard. So, hopefully, that's gonna be the case still, where Dot Damage will just finish him off without any problems, and the Plague Doctor will be excellent for that. If the Plague Doctor will not die. Plus, the Plague Doctor is good for the sole reason of having an additional heal um, that he can use. So it's gonna be even more beneficial when I'm gonna be getting nuked all the time by that, by that fucker. By the boss. Okay, he's dead. Uh, I'm gonna be getting nuked over and over every turn by the boss. And having an additional, even small but still heal, to heal me from death's door is going to be, uh, I think, beneficial. One, of course, instead of two. Ah, okay. Oh, come on. Mm. Of course he goes first. They always go first. They always go fucking first. I know he's got a lot of speed, but for fuck's sake, they, you, I never see my characters go fast. If it's 
speed plus the randomness plus RNG, why do they always go fast no matter what happens and I never go fast if I have lower speed? Right? I I have situations in the game where my characters have 10 speed and they have zero speed and still the enemies go fast because randomness, okay. But why doesn't that happen the other way around, huh? Why my characters never go before enemies with uh, high speed? Like, never. Not even once. Not even fucking once. Okay, and now we get food. And a key. So we can use up some food. Great. Show me where the boss room is. Okay, I know the boss room is gonna be, in that case, either here or here. I think. I, I always remember the boss room being in, in one of the corners. So, I basically went in the wrong side. I'm gonna do a... Um, I'm gonna run around in a square around it, but after I kill the boss, I can go for the other rooms. First, I want to kill the boss. A boss, the boss room has a specific icon, so you're gonna see the boss room when it appears on the minimap. As the, light gains purchase, the boss uh, room always has a specific icon with the bosses. Made clear. Well, basically, with like a generic skull, um, but it it is noticeable not noticeably different let's say okay it's noticeably different so before i go to the boss room i will be able to rest hopefully and when i rest here yes this is the room battle with curio Maybe they changed something, but I don't think they did. Okay, uh, abilities. Do they have all the abilities that I want? Yes. So we can the way is lit. rest the now. Path is clear. We require only e, the strength so I will forward. decrease my stress a bit. And now. All companions plus 10% damage. And we got the crit chance. Great. We got the crit chance. Now you... Uh, 8 crit You already have 7.5 crit Okay, first we'll see other things that we can do here We can get No, we don't want that, we have 8 Respite points. By the way, I don't know if I explained this, but you basically at the start you get 12 respite points um, and you can use them to use abilities, right? Every ability has a time cost, as you can see, so you have to choose what you will, what you will take. Okay, good. And now we have 4 left, so I can either take plus 20% damage or, or plus 8% crit chance. I think I will take... Since we already have plus 10% damage, I think I'll take the crit chance. And now, please don't surprise me. Thank you. Okay, and now we can... We are buffed up for 4 fights, so we can, after the boss, if we kill the boss, I can go to this room and this room, hopefully. Um, but we need to switch position. You have to be the first one, because you have the buff. Yeah, 16% crit. Very nice. And you have, can you mark yourself? No, but you can protect ally, guard allies. So that's gonna be good. Okay, and now Wilbur is gonna end these two. So mark two of my characters. So now I will defend her because that's gonna help me also. I'm gonna take double damage. And now. Let's plague this asshole. Yeah, see? No blight resistance. So now, hopefully, I'll have enough damage to kill him. 20 damage, very nice. He's got... how much? 130... 130. See? That wasn't that... why did... why? What? 
Oh, because that's an AoE. Okay. I was, I was like, why did you not uh, heal him, uh, protect him fully, but that's why. And these two. Oh, come on. He's got two abilities. He's got either and this one or and these two. The, and, and this one is a mark for one target only. And these two is a uh, mark for two targets. And of course, he's spamming the and these two, not and this one. Because, fuck my life. Oh, come on, you even have an accuracy buff! No? Not an accuracy buff? Okay, I thought you have an accuracy buff, but still... Come on... No crit? Can you stun you? Probably not. Let's just heal you, I guess. Uh, heal you. Let's just hit you, I guess. For 8, yeah. Good. And now, let's see how much you'll do. Okay, not much. Seven only. Very good. See, and he's spamming and these two. I don't know why he's spamming like this. Usually, he doesn't use the same ability twice in a row that often. Like, it's, it's a bit annoying, really. Either they changed something or, or they are just trying to be dicks. Because it, it is a bit annoying. He shouldn't be spamming that much. The same... He's got, like I said, two abilities. He's got end this one or end these two. And he's spamming the fucking double mark uh, ability. And I'm... Okay, I bleed at him at least. And see, he's spamming it. He's spamming it like a bit... Oh, you didn't mark me. Excellent. Excellent, you motherfucker. Okay. 12. Very good. Only 6 damage, not that good. Let's try to just... We didn't crit, that's bad. Uh, and let's try to hit you. Heal you. For 4. Wild Flay, dodge, very nice. And this one, excellent! Now, finally, you do something... See, he did three, in, 3 times in a row, and these two. That really... Could fuck me up, up a lot, but thankfully it didn't. Thankfully it didn't. And he's dead, I think, right? How much? That's 16. No, I need to hit him one more time. Okay. You never, by the way, never attack Wilbur. Wilbur is very weak. Uh, he's in the back row. You can you can think like, oh, I'm just gonna attack Wilbur and and kill him, so he won't mark you. Never attack Wilbur. If you attack Wilbur, um, Wilbur starts stunning you. First of all. Um, Wilbur has a AoE stun for four characters, Squeal, this, it does only one damage, but it stuns your whole fucking party, and he spams that shit all the time, plus the, uh, the Swine Prince starts dealing even more damage, he gets like in a hyper damage mode or something, and he just spams more and more damage in you, it's, it's really obnoxious, and he's gonna Squeal again, as you can see, finally we resisted, that's good. Great. Oh, come on. Hit me for two. I'd like to stun you, Wilbur. Can I? Oh, you resisted, huh? Oh, well. I'll try to stun you again. Please stun you. Okay, good. Now I'll have, like, a turn to heal. I'll have a turn to heal up a bit. Crit heal for two, excellent. Crit again for two, excellent. And smash you. We even got our trinket. Nice. At least promises success. nice. Very nice. Very nice. Now uh, we can explore a bit more. We can explore a bit more. May we, find victory. we just need to eat a bit with our guys. Okay. We can go and explore a bit. Maybe we'll get some more trinkets. Oh, this. The Shambler's Altar. It says the sacrifice of fire is the gate to ruin. Place a torch if you crave the void. Um, if you place a torch in this, you summon a additional boss called uh, like a 
um, additional optional boss that sometimes it, it's a boss that uh, randomly ap can appear in every location. Uh, it's he's called the Shambler. He's a OP motherfucker, but if you kill him, he is. I don't know if he's guaranteed, but at least he has a very high chance of giving you ancestral uh, trinkets, which are extremely powerful, and you usually get them at like champion level dungeons, so level three dungeons or for boss fights. So it's basically a, a very greedy play to summon him, but if you summon him and you manage to kill him, you will get an extremely powerful reward. The only problem is that it's actually hard to kill him because the fucker is extremely OP. So that, that kind of sucks a bit. And he can easily decimate you. He can just destroy your ass. Okay, great. That's a nice crit. It's a very nice crit, actually. Okay, let's feed you guys. Good. Don't stand. Oh, he left stand. Well, shit. Come on. Don't go fast. Don't be dick. Excellent. She crits all the time now, man. That's nice. Please don't resist. Shit. Yeah, he's got 60% resistance. Like I said, for the boss, the Plague Doctor was great, but for the whole uh, Warrens type of dungeon, he's not good. Because enemies... It's basically, um, from what I understand, the ruins... For, for the ruins, you take Blight. Um... For the warrants you take bleed, for the cove you take bleed, and for the wells you take blight, I think, yeah. So um, ruins and wells are resistant to, no, no, the other way, uh, yeah, 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 wait, is it, no, ruins are resistant to bleed, and Warrens are resistant to bleed? Or world is resistant to bleed? I'm, I'm getting mixed up here. I always remember that they are basically like, you know, mirror images of itself and one is this, one area is resistant to one element and one dot damage and the other area is resistant to the other dot damage. But maybe I, I was mistaken. I know that for the ruins, uh, blight is the way to go because uh, skeletons, all of the undead are basically resistant to bleed fully because they are undead, but they are very weak to blight. For here, it's better to have bleed. For the warrants, it's better to have bleed. For um, for the world, I think it's also better to have bleed because the enemies that deal blight damage. So the cove has to be blight also. As weak weak to blight, mark. yeah. So, so the cove is weak to blight, distance. and the ruins are weak to blight, and the ru and the world and the warrens are weak to bleed. I think. Don't quote me on that, but I think that is how it is supposed to be. I presume. I presume that's how it is supposed to be. Okay, who have the biggest chance? 70, 80... Well, you, because you need a stress decrease. Thank you. You just gain stress for nothing, man. You just gain stress for nothing. Okay, well, last fight. Hopefully, we will not die. If we will, I'm gonna be very annoyed because this is basically me being greedy for loot. But I want loot, so give me loot. Oh, they they are weak. Light, even. Okay. I'll try to stun both of you. Please don't resist. Ah, you resisted. Fuck you. Uh, okay. Decisive pummeling. Decisive pummeling. I I love the vo the uh, the voice actor, the narrator. Decisive pummeling. 
<laughs> I did hear that one before. <laughs> that is fucking hilarious. Decisive pummeling. God. That was cool. Oh man, decisive pummeling. I like that. I like that. Oh, come on, don't dodge. Seize this momentum. Oh, it's Push trapped. To trapped. The tasks end. Okay. And we can go to this down. Okay, first. We can this on this to decrease the stress on him, good. I actually am doing quite well, even in the stress department, I don't need to rest with these guys yet, so... No, don't, no, oh, it was going so well, and you're gonna get a negative... No? Loot? Okay. I, I was expecting this is gonna be a negative one, but... No, loot. Okay, cool. Antivenom. What is... What is this guy? The Collector, Eldritch Hum... I, I never encountered this, I don't know what this is and I'm a bit scared of what this will do to me if I don't retreat, but at the same time I am very interested in killing this and seeing what it does. I never saw this before, I don't know what this is, like I said. What this guy is. I still have the buff for one combat, so this is the last combat that I can do with the buff, so let's let's deal as much damage as I can. He's got 70 HP, that's not that much. Masterfully executed. Okay, what will you do? Collect call. He summoned skeleton. Collected Hyroman, collected Vessel, collected Man at Arms. Oh! I understand. So these are supposed to be... Um, dead... Characters of mine, supposedly. At least dead... Um, classes. And he summons them. And they help him. They fight for him. He collects corpses, I guess, right? That's the deal. The problem is that I didn't lose any even one character yet, so that kind of doesn't make sense, but... Okay, I'll, I'll dig that. Okay, Blight. Well struck. 8. He's got 23. Um. Yeah, the, the only problem with this is... This is supposed to be a mirror of a highwayman, right? Highwayman cannot attack with melee attacks with back row. So basically, what they did, and again, this is another example of the creators of the game being dicks and not being fair to the players. So they make you fight mirror images of classes that you use, but they give them different abilities that you don't have and never had and never can have on your classes and make them and allow them to use abilities anywhere they want and target anyone they want basically without the restrictions like come on man that's that's not cool that's not cool let's stun you then you're not gonna be guarding that guy anymore good Okay, eight. We need to gonna summon one more, right? Yeah, we summoned one more. Play grenade. Oh come on, you resisted with like Okay, he's almost dead. Don't heal him. It's 
four. Plus four. Six. He's dead. Good. Oh, that's a crit. You are damned. Like I said, again, these are supposed to be murder images of my classes. But they can do things that I that my classes can. So a highwayman standing in the front row can attack my back row healer with a melee attack. Or a healer in the second row can heal herself. Uh, standing in the second row. Where my heals are I don't know, actually this one, the party heal, she could. But this one, the one target that kinda looks like what she did, I can't. I, I, like I said, I am very interested in seeing this, right? That, that's a fun thing they added, but again, they went overboard and they allowed, and they gave characters that are supposed to be mirror, mirror images of your own characters, Things that they shouldn't have. Success. So puzzling trapezohedron. What puzzling trapezohedron? Trapezohedron. The color shifts and change with the light. Value two and a half gold. Oh, it was worth it, guys. It was worth it. Value two and a half thousand gold. EA. What is EA? What, what does EA mean? Every access? Like, what, what does the EA mean? Let's stun them. Please don't resist. Fuck, the little one resisted. He's gonna increase stress now. Okay, first let's kill this guy. Because he's gonna be the dick. Okay. Let's try to stun this guy. Please stun. Good. Good. And the little guy will try something, but whatever. We're doing very well on this one, I would say. And vomit twice in a row, because... fuck you. Why do they always go fast? Always! Never had I had the chance to go fast when my characters have less speed. But when I fight skeletons with zero speed, with characters that have 10 speed, I go second. Quite often. That's just not cool game. That's just not fucking cool. And not fun. And he resisted again. 10 he had twice now a 1 in 10 chance to resist and he resisted twice. I missed, of course I did, because he has to vomit three times in a row, because of course he has to. If you're gonna resist this also, okay, you didn't, good, thank fucking god, let's try to stun you again, you resisted, but... I was kinda expecting you're gonna resist sooner or later. And I'm... Why am I missing suddenly? See, when I started this fight, I had like 10 stress on her. You're dead, and you're dead also. Stun. Okay, that is good. And you're also dead, so fuck you. Great, crit for 15. Excellent. You die. Heal up. One for one. Okay. And he goes first again. See, I never go fast. Never had I went fast Remind having less speed than my enemies. Slow and but like I said, skeletons go fast all the time. 
with have, having less speed and less overall everything because the reason mm. okay what's this unlock chest oh come on we don't have enough room for this uh, Why does it say um, value 250 gold EA? You don't have 1000. The puzzling trapezohedron is great. Trapezohedron is just my, my new favorite word. Trapezohedron. Favorite word of, of the game, trapezohedron. Oh, she got creeping cough. She got... We... See, that's the crappy thing about this game. Another one. We killed the boss. We did everything ni very nicely. We even killed a side boss or something looking like a side boss, like an additional boss. And two out of four of my characters, instead of getting any positive quirks, they got diseases. Spotted Fever uh, minus Blight Resist. Even though he didn't get hit by Blight even once, I think. No, he did once. And Creeping Calf on the healer for some reason. This guy didn't get any positives. At least she got uh, tough plus 10% maximum HP. God almighty. All my life I could feel an insistent gnawing in the back of my mind. It was a yearning, a thirst for discovery that could be neither numbed nor sated. Cool story, bro. Nice to hear that. Okay, guys. That was the uh, Swine Prince and the Trapezohedron. I will remember that word, definitely. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like and a comment below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode, where we will go and kill some more bosses. See you then.